jamming, we jamming, but let's learn something while I got my babies over here. So where are they from? Where is sea moss from? It can be grown all over the world. You got sea moss in Vietnam, you got sea moss in Taiwan, you got sea moss uh, from Ireland. You know, that's where it became popular from, from, from Ireland. That's why you always hear Irish sea moss. But this ain't Irish sea moss. Now Jamaicans will call it that, but this is Jamaican sea moss because it's off the coast of Jamaica. So just some information for you. So, so what about it? What is it? It's a seaweed. It's a it's a superfood. You know, some refer to it as a seaweed. Um, some refer to it as a super algae. Either case, you know, you see what it looked like. Let me put her back. Put her safe in there while I'm driving, making sure my babies are safe. That's the gold right here. That's what most people refer to as Irish sea moss because they see that tough, that dryness. And then you got the purple. You see her? You know, we gotta keep them safe. So, keep them tied up, keep them, keep them right. But anyway, so these are from Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? So when you hear Irish sea moss, a lot of people, they think it's from, you know, that's just the name where it became popular from. But this is from Jamaica, 92 minerals, also, we combine ours, we got a process that turns this into the gel. And when you turn that into the gel, let me close that up so we don't have a lot of wind in the, in the video. When you turn that into the gel, what happens is we add bladder rag to it too, which is another super algae slash um, seaweed. And once we add that to that, man, you got a potent, 92 plus mineral uh, superfood. So you can make a gel out of it. You can wash it and clean it actually and just have it raw. Some people just put it over their salads, but you gotta really wash and clean it well. And we got we got videos on my um, on our website as well. Um, also, what else is it good for? Man, this is like yo, yo one-stop shop, you know. I wouldn't say one-stop shop because you still got to incorporate other stuff, your vitamin D and uh, your greens and some other stuff. But this is a big part of it because it has a lot of minerals in them, a lot of minerals. So when I say a lot of minerals, 92 plus minerals, the body is made up of 102 minerals. So that just lets you know, lets you know right there how much you got in there. So you got a lot that you're working with. Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all safe? Also, what is it good for? It's good for reducing inflammation. It's good for re reducing excessive mucus. And that's what a lot of people deal with. With this whole COVID-19, when they do the autopsies, they see a lot of mucus buildup. You know, it's an upper respiratory deal. So we won't get into all of that. I don't, I don't want to jump into a COVID-19 discussion, but this helps to reduce excessive mucus. Everybody that I've given it to, I've been on it five years, it works as long as you're eating right. If you're eating the right, if, if you're eating a good plant-based diet, either you know partially or either all the way, but even partially, you'll still get the benefits. You know, outside of that, um, it also re reduces inflammation in the body. Inflammation is like that one killer everything you know because if you got inflammation in, in your arteries it's gonna call the a backup and you know you can have heart attacks um, all kind of things when you have inflammation so inflammation is nothing to, to, to play with that's why a plant-based diet is better for you because it reduces inflammation and, and the foods in the plant-based diet has anti-inflammatory properties so that helps you out a lot. And when you couple these two together, my babies, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? So you can you can reduce a lot of stuff. You can get rid of some stuff. We are not medical doctors, so I don't want to claim anything and say this and that ha happened for you because it's a process. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta have one. You can't have one without the other. You can't be drinking, smoking, doing all this stuff, and just taking sea moss, and then you're not eating right. You see what I'm saying? So, just some education for you. You know, I got my babies, we rolling today, we riding clean. And uh, 
just wanted to let you know about them. You know, they from Jamaica, you know. And another thing is, sea moss is hard to come by right now because the waters are rough. And y'all gotta remember, this stuff is wild harvested. When, they, when you say wild crafted, wild harvested, they go and dive out there. They go out like on a on an expedition, just like you're getting shrimp and all that other stuff. They go out for a few weeks and they harvest enough in a sustainable, ethical manner uh, to produce this for us. So all of all of plant-based Jeff uh, product, it's it's harvested and within two weeks I get it. So it's not nothing sitting up a long time. Well, it won't sit up a long time anyway because it's just.